Good morning guys and girls and welcome back to another video and today is Wednesday Weekly Gold episode 24. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Right, so guys, this is going to be a little bit different than what I was intending on for this week of Wednesday Weekly Gold. Currently we are sat at 1.7 million gold. Happy days right there. Um, I have farmed the Ulduar raid, I've done the Siege of Orgrimmar, and along with that I've done the three main Cataclysm raids with the Potion of Treasure Finding. Let me tell you why I'm not showing you any of the clips and all that jazz. Because this video is solely about what, we, what I intend to do for BFA going forward and to make gold when we get onto like BFA because it's only like a month away and I need to get myself up together stat. So that being the case, we're going to cover what I need to do. Right, so I've decided what character I'm going to play as. I'm going to play as my druid Corthana and basically she is shockingly undergeared. So I've decided to go as a feral druid instead of being balanced as I'm always bloody balanced with her. So I've managed to grab the artifact and now I just need to gear her the hell up. So I've been literally trying to gear her up as fast as possible this week. So that means world quests, dungeons, heroic dungeons, bloody raids, everything. Anything you can think of I'm pretty much doing to try and gear her up. That being the case, in my downtime while waiting for a dungeon queue or a raid queue, I'm literally just farming up with herbalism and mining at the moment. This doesn't go into uh, Wednesday Weekly Gold's Gold, like those mats go to a separate like bank tune because obviously Wednesday Weekly Gold is for one character. But I am going to be using Corthana at the beginning of BFA, so that being the case I'm going to turn all of her gold to zero and send over all of the gold that Galathos, my warrior, has and she will be the new main when get BFA starts on farming and making gold. That being the case, she is a herbalist and a miner and yes, she is max leveled on all of those and fully ranked. That, With that being said, Corthana is probably what I'm going to be using at first in BFA. I'm going to level her up but if I see a node I'm going to mine it or herb it because I want to get to the highest ranks possible because I know at the beginning of BFA, all of the herbs and all of the mats are going to go crazy. Also, once BFA has hit and I've leveled her to 120, I will be farming herbs and minerals like a crazy man. But that besides the point, my next character that I intend to level is my dual crafter and my engineer, and that is Dalaranos, and that is my all-time main. So I don't really need to gear him, He's like pretty much already geared, even though I, yeah, yeah, he's pretty much geared. I, I, I think uh, a couple of top ups here and there. I think his wrists need an upgrade, but that's about it. But that, but that being the case, Dalaranos is my paladin, and he's my engineer and my jewel crafter. And the reason I'm doing that is because I can send over all of the minerals from my, from Corthana, and then I can prospect them and I will be able to make a lot of gold. Now obviously I'm going to be able to do that with Galathos if I leveled him straight away, but in all honesty I want to be able to get the most amount of gold, so I need a miner and a herbalist, and what better way if I've already got every profession on all of my, like, I've got, all of my characters, pretty much I have every profession near on maxed out, so I, I'm going with herbalist and herbalism and mining and then engineering and jewel crafting once he has hit 120 as well. That it will maximise the amount of gold because I'll be then crafting rings. I will then be crafting all the in-slot gems. Because I know in my realm that all of the blacksmithing equipment will be oversaturated immediately. Um, everyone usually focuses on all of that and last expansion and the expansion before that I managed to make a 10 ton of gold with jewel crafting, so I'm going to stick with what I know and carry on with the jewel crafting in like after the, the first month of BFA. So I'm going to stockpile 
and sell mats and sell mats and sell mats. I'm also going to prospect them and make a load of gold that way. Hopefully this will gain us a load of bloody gold in the process and I'm going to be posting this on the Wednesday Weekly Gold when BFA actually hits. But that being the case, before that I need, I will be doing Gal uh, my warrior, he will be doing his usual Wednesday Weekly Gold until BFA actually hits. I do feel that this is a lot easier to be like to go along with as I'm going to try and max out his jewel crafting and his mining properly so he's ready for BFA because he's the guy that I intend to level third because obviously once after the first initial couple of months after BFA has released we're going obviously Galathos will come back into the, into the fray and he'll be able to do Wednesday weekly gold a bit more proper but obviously we need to maximise the amount of gold, so we'll be using two tunes for the first two months of BFA, and that will just be levelling and making a load of gold through mining herbalism and jewel crafting, along with any engineering like perks that you can get. But the engineering perks, I'm really not feeling that they will make a hell of a lot, depending on what I get. But I'm more focusing on jewel crafting, enchant... Uh, Dual crafting, engine, uh, dual crafting, herbalism, and mining. They are my three main professions which I will be focusing on for gold farming. That is literally what I'll be focusing on. I literally have a little checklist on where I need to go for the beginning of, of BFA, and I'm really looking forward to it. Like, if Wednesday Weekly Gold, if we can manage to get like 5 million gold, I'm instantly going to be going and getting that auctioneer mount because who doesn't want like a brachiosaur like as a mount? Like I was telling my friend Toby and he yesterday what it is, he doesn't even like this game and I know, yeah, he's he's an idiot. <laughs> but he even him, he was like amazed on how cool that mount like looks. It is it's pretty damn awesome. You can ride around on that. So I'm going forward that. That is my absolute plan for BFA at the release. Um, I am stockpiling a load of other materials, like old world materials at the moment, on all of my other alts. This is not a part of B uh, Wednesday Weekly Gold, but I thought I'd like to cover it in this Wednesday Weekly Gold just to give an idea on what I'm actually doing. I'm stockpiling pretty much old world transmog as I know that at the first month everyone's going to get a power dip and we know that some bits of transmog are harder to get because of the, the power dip for us. So I'm saving those and then selling them at the like at the beginning of, of BFA. They may sell, they may not sell, it's worth a shot because it's only a month away and I can wait a month to sell some transmog and along with that I'm also farming up like primal mana, primal fire, primal life pretty much all of the primals, all of the eternals, all of the cloth really like any material that I come across at the moment with any of my other characters I'm just saving it up and just selling that now obviously I actually usually when a expansion releases, I usually me level my mage first. I don't know why, I just love leveling my mage, Giblet, who is a noom. I love to specify that, I don't know why. But Giblet is personally one of my all-time favourite characters to actually play at the beginning of an expansion. Uh, merely because he's just easy to play. He's a, He usually levels as a frost mage, but... Um, I feel like taking a different route and going with Corthana this time as a Feral Druid. And I do not know how to play Feral, by the way. So I'm going to have to learn in about a month how to play a Feral Druid. And yeah, that's going to be fun. So that being the case, guys, I'm really looking forward to BFA. I've completely spent this entire week trying to gear up, sort out my professions, ready for BFA, sorting out everything else. And I cannot wait for BFA. Like, it's going to be good. I'm The hype train is starting to climb. And whenever I figure out a new farm on BFA, I will be posting bonus videos 
like because I want them out as immediately as you can because it's not all about me making gold it's all about you guys making gold and that is pr mainly what my channel is all about so that being the case guys have a lovely rest of the day and yeah now I hope you like this video guys and if you want to see more like this please feel free to give this video a like and as always have an awesome day guys yeah.